In the New Testament, there was no church that was more generous than the Macedonian church. In 2 Corinthians 8, 1-5, Paul tells us how their joy overflowed in rich generosity. The encouraging thing for us about this joy was the circumstances it came from. Paul explains that they were in the midst of severe trials and extreme poverty, and it was in these times that God gave them this overflowing joy that resulted in generosity. Trials and suffering couldn't shake these believers because they didn't care about stuff. Their secret was not what belonged to them, but who they belonged to. And every one of us will also face trials and sufferings at some point in our lives. And just like the Macedonians, we must decide who or what we will trust in when they do arise. So let's look at three truths that the Macedonian believers teach us that will help us obtain the same joy and generosity they had in their extreme poverty. First, nothing can shake the joy of the generous. Paul's description of the Macedonian state of affairs should not be taken lightly. Severe tests of affliction and extreme poverty. These circumstances were more than minor setbacks, yet God gave them the joy to not only make it through, but to give generously in the process. Secondly, generosity flows from a heart of self-sacrifice, not self-preservation. The motivation of giving is not to give in order to get. Instead, just like the Macedonians, it begins with our surrender to God and flows from His joy as we trust in Him. And finally, biblical giving comes from grace, not the law. Tithe, or 10%, is the biblical starting point for giving. Jesus validated this in Matthew 23, but as the Macedonians showed us, their giving was a direct result of the joy they found in God's grace, not from an obligation to give. These verses model for us the response God is looking for when we look at our financial situation. Paul tells us that the Macedonians gave themselves first to the Lord, and in the same way we should approach our finances by first affirming or reaffirming our commitment to trust God's promises. And secondly, we are told the Macedonians gave. Their generosity was the proof of where their joy really came from. And in the same way, our giving echoes what our hearts are trusting in.